You want to know my secret to how to use a Tremelo bar, Whammy bar, or Bigsby? You need to watch this video. Hi, I'm Carrie Too Smooth. Before we get started, if you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell so you're always notified. Also, uh, just a rule of thumb, watch the video all the way through and then take notes and watch it again so that way you can go over the stuff that we talked about. Uh, I want to make sure that you get it. So watch the video all the way through, rewind it, take notes, and then watch it again so the way the stuff actually starts to stick when you're applying the principles. So this video has been one of my most requested videos that people have been asking for for a while. How do you use the Tremella bar? How do you make it make sense? And so I'm going to give you like some insight. I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, the first thing that I do every time I get a guitar or whatever, I try to make sure that the bridge is floating. I have to make sure that the bridge is floating. And what that means is there are springs that are on the back of the guitar, right? Um, each guitar has springs, and so I have to find the right kind of strings. I don't do it myself. I usually bring it to a guy, but I bring it to um, my tech, and he puts the strings and he puts the springs on there to make sure that we can have the bridge that floats. But the technique that I use when I'm ever using a Tremella bar, Whammy bar, or whatever you want to call it, Bigsby, um, whatever the term that you use, I use it as if I'm like shaking a, an old lady's hand or an old person's hand. I'm not really aggressive. I'm not like, there's no, I'm, there's none of that. There's really like an aggressive uh, approach that I hear a lot of people taking. Let's scratch that. It's more of a subtlety. It's more of I'm shaking the old person's hand. I'm really being subtle. So it's like uh, me just being like really chill with it. I'm just like the whole technique of I'm barely shaking the hand, I'm barely moving. That's why it's so important for you to make sure that your bridge floats. So. And you're like wondering, how is he getting that sound? So what I'm using in conjunction with my tremolo bar, I'm using a volume pedal, so like I swell into the chords. So I'm not just playing the chords, I'm swelling into them. It's a subtle thing, so I'm not like, it's not an overexertion of energy. So if you find yourself doing that, you're not doing it right. First things first, get your guitar set up. Take it to a tech, let it get set up. I'm gonna show you on different guitars so the way you can see that, oh wow, it's not just this guitar that sounds this way. So that was my LSO, it's a custom Satakoi. Now I'm gonna pull out my PRS, right? Um, it has a back plate, but underneath the back plate, I've had my guy go in and adjust the springs. Uh, to ensure that I'm getting that same kind of sound. I want to make sure my bridge is floating. It's really important to make to ensure that your bridge is floating. the same technique I'm using the same technique on different guitars I have them all set up the same way it's important that you understand that it's really important that you get that I'm trying to show you on different guitars so you see that it does not matter what the guitar is the tonality may be different but the approach of how I'm playing it is the same I've used a custom LSL custom Satikoi I just use a PRS DGT now I'm using a regular American Strat um, it's three uh, single coils this has the, the tremolo bar where you just, you screw it in. And the thing that I want you to also understand is I don't use this on every time that I'm playing a chord. I just, I want to show you the technique of what I'm doing. The mastery comes when I start to do it in my own practice time. I'm starting to see which what makes sense. So I wanna use stuff that makes sense. Um, I wanna do stuff that uh, the guitar is like, it's making sense. I'm not just out here just trying to play for the sake of playing, but I'm out here playing um, so that way that the guitar can sound the way that I intend for it to sound, but I have to have it set up. So that's, this is American Strat. Now I'm gonna play my Les Paul with my Bixby uh, to show you that you can get the same thing. I have my Bixby set up the same way. Um, I tell my tech, Make sure my bridge floats. It's really important for me to, to make sure that my, all my guitars are set up the same way because I play a certain way. If you're designed to play that certain way, this is what you need to do. Um, let me stop right here. 
If you want to drop a comment, drop a comment. I definitely go through and I read the comments. I want to see that I'm making a connection with you, that like you're learning the stuff that I'm teaching. If you love the stuff that I'm teaching, but you want to do an even deeper dive, I suggest going to carriescamp.com. Uh, there'll be a link in the bio. And um, I, me, personally, I'll be your mentor, and I'll just walk you through everything really on how to lock the fretboard as a guitarist, if that's what you want. So leave a comment. If you want to do a deeper dive, go to carriescamp.com. So let's get back in here. So um, I'm using um, a Les Paul that I've installed a Bigsby on. I'm letting you see, letting you hear that just because there's different guitars, the technique does not change. So again, I'm using a volume pedal, so I'm able to swell and two. Same technique with a oh, with a big speed. So it's all about the technique. You want to first get your guitar set up so you can well, you can apply the same principle. If your guitar is not set up, it's not going to sound that way. It's going to be hard for you to get that desired sound. The second thing comes with the discipline of knowing when to not use it on every single chord. There's certain chords that I'll pick out, and I'll do another video talking about that. But I just wanted to show you the technique. The technique is so important. If you don't have the technique down, if you don't have your guitar set up the right way, you're not going to get the desired sound that you want. So let's do a recap. We talked about how to set your guitars up. For all of your, your Strat style guitars that don't have a big speed, make sure your bridge floats. Make sure your tech, um, I'm, this is a Les Paul so you can't see it, but I'll show it with this guitar. You see there's a back plate, there's screws, and there's like springs in the back. Get those springs adjusted so the way you can have those springs adjusted so you have the desirability of making sure your bridge floats. And when you play your tremolo bar, your whammy bar, or your Bigsby, whatever it is, imagine you're shaking an old person's hand. You're not trying to shake their hand off. You're being very gentle. So if you're doing it so aggressively, it's like this wheel. wobbly sound the whole entire time. That is not the desired effect. That's how you get that custom sound of playing with a tremolo.